This is Tom Goki with Orthopedic Educational Services. Today we're going to do an x-ray review of the foot and specifically look at the Liz Frank joint. On the x-ray images you see now, the Liz Frank joint is comprised of the metatarsal shafts and then the first, second, third cuneiform and the cuboid. On the AP view, the first metatarsal shaft and the cuneiform line up the second metatarsal shaft and the second cuneiform line up and then on the oblique projection you'll see the third metatarsal shaft the third cuneiform and then the fourth and fifth metatarsals and the cuboid all line up appropriately so when you look at x-rays on a regular basis especially for normal x-rays you'll see that the metatarsal shafts and the cuneiform and the cuboid all line up if you see that every time you look at an x-ray of a foot you'll know that the you'll know that the Liz Frank joint is properly aligned. So let's look at a clinical case. This was a patient that I took care of a few weeks ago. They came into our office after having a fall and being seen at one of the local emergency rooms. Their clinical examination showed that they had some swelling in their foot, it was painful for them to weight bear, and they had bruising on the plantar aspect of their foot. The x-ray that they had taken in the ER showed that they had a third metatarsal shaft fracture. So their diagnosis was a third metatarsal fracture and a sprain of the midfoot. They were placed in a post-op shoe, they were allowed to weight bear, and they were given some medicine for pain and told to follow up in our office. So what should they have seen on x-ray? Well first of all, they did have the third metatarsal shaft fracture which you see here at the black arrow. The green arrow shows that they had a mismatch between the second metatarsal shaft and the second cuneiform. That's a giveaway for having a Liz Frank injury. The next thing that they should have seen, the blue arrow, was a widening in the space between the second and third metatarsal shaft and again in the second and third cuneiform. This is also a giveaway for having a Liz Frank injury. And then lastly, the yellow arrow shows that they had a comminuted fracture at the base of the fourth metatarsal shaft. If you look hard on this x-ray, you can also see that there's a slight step off in irregularity in the articulation between the, cub between the cuboid and the fourth metatarsal shaft. So for this patient, they presented with a classic Liz Frank injury in addition to their third metatarsal shaft fracture. Treatment options for them should have been a well padded splint, non weight bearing, and a prompt follow up for orthopedic assessment. So our question for today is, in a patient who has a Liz Frank injury, what physical finding would increase your suspicion for a Liz Frank injury to the foot? If you know the answer to that question, go to our webpage, www.orthoedu.com, and fill out the Contact Us section and give us your answer. For Orthopedic Educational Services, this is Tom Goki. Have a great PA week.